I do so Sunday 16th of April 2023. You're here with Stephen. Hello. Going to run the Sport Ball Marathon. April 29th, that one, yes. I did complete the marathon, but at what cost? Let's start at the beginning. On January 1st, I began my 16-week training plan, and for the first few weeks, it was going really well. I did some really nice runs across Central London, improved my time, but that was until... Thursday the 26th of January 2023. You are currently at the top of Primrose Hill, halfway through a 10 kilometer run. It's actually your first run after about a week, because your very old injury from many, many years ago flared up, so it was best to rest it. It feels okay for now and hopefully it will stay that way so I can get back on my marathon running schedule. Turns out going on that run was incredibly stupid and my left knee pain was impossible to continue running with. I did go on some long walks to compensate but it's just not the same. After about a month I bought myself some new shoes and although the pain was still there it was far milder and Really, I just needed to go on some runs. After about two weeks, I was back to my old pace, and a few more weeks later, I ran a full test marathon and my cardio was there. Might have not been the best idea to run a full marathon two weeks before the actual race day, but it was a big psychological boost. On the morning of the marathon, I felt good. Well rested, carved up from the previous week, and plenty of gels in hand for the race. Objectively, Stephen is the better runner. However, he had recently recovered from COVID, so we were both aiming for a three hour, 45 minute time, or five minutes, 20 seconds per kilometer. Our strategy was to go for a 5.10 pace for the first half of the marathon, a 5.20 pace for the next 11 kilometers, and for the final 10 kilometers, a 5.30 pace. I stuck to this plan for about the first 32 kilometers, at which point my right knee, my good knee just went. I think it's because of these new shoes, they're the Nike vapor flies and they have a metal plate which is supposed to act as a spring to make you a little bit faster but I was really unfamiliar with them only having gone for a few runs and yeah I think this is the cause and I, I probably won't run with them again. I was getting pain in my right knee from about 10 kilometers in but at 32 kilometers it was just too painful to run in so I focused running predominantly with my left leg but then after a few kilometers my left knee, my traditionally bad knee just went as well so i was focusing on running with both my calves turns out that's not a good idea because my calves then got cramped so i was speed walking for my last few kilometers turns out again that's not a good idea because my hips were really painful at that point because you're not supposed to run like that so everything below my torso was aching but if anything i'm perseverant and managed to complete the marathon in three hours 58 minutes only 30 minutes slower than i expected Stephen beat our expected time at 3 hours 38 minutes, which is incredible for his first marathon. I'm obviously very pleased with myself, but a little bit disappointed. My cardio didn't fail me at all, it was my knees. And if I didn't do that, I think I would have definitely hit my 3 hour 45 minute time. Perhaps I'll do it in the future. The few days after the marathon, my body was aching all over, including, weirdly, my biceps. But two weeks in, Everything feels good now apart from my right knee. So I'm hoping it will heal across the next few weeks and I can start running again to hit my next goal. Hydro Joe, it's Wednesday the 29th of March 2023 and today you are in court. Behind me is the River Lee and just over there you can see the Channel Clock Tower. It's now the 31st of March and today you are in Blarney Castle. Yesterday at the conference your presentation went very well. People seemed to be receptive. You had a few questions after. People came up to you after to ask you more thorough questions. And then it was the gala dinner at the city gal or the city jail. It was a very old jail built by the English. Quite cool experience to eat there. People got very drunk. I for the first time in about six weeks had a pint of Guinness because of course if you're an island you have to have a pint but I'm trying not to drink too much before my marathon in a few weeks time. Workwise, one of your papers got published, link in the description. The anatomy segmentation paper, which is what I presented yesterday, you submitted a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, 
your other paper on automating the operation notes was rejected, but it was accepted by another journal. I've also got my upgrade coming up, which is about halfway through the PhD, and you write a report on the work you've done and the work you're planning to do for the remainder of the PhD, and experts go through the report and criticize it. It's similar to the Viva at the end of the PhD, except these criticisms are supposed to improve your work for the latter half of your PhD rather than you defending your work for the PhD title. I had mine last Wednesday and it was very tough, not a good experience. Two experts in your field critiquing every line that you've written, every decision you've made for two hours. Before my mini fiver, I thought I would pass with flying colours. I've got three published papers working on a fourth, but it turns out that's not sufficient. However, I was able to defend my work properly and Thankfully, I did pass. The criticism come from a good place and the advice I've been given will help me for the next 18 months. Effectively, they said I should focus on a few things and do them well, rather than do a lot of things at a surface level. Hi, JJ. It's the, uh, Saturday the 7th of January, 2023. I'm here for Sham's birthday for a comedy night. It was, <laughs> it was very fun. And the fun did not stop. Going out clubbing a few times, hosting a few events, going for a few cheeky Sunday brunches, seeing Cambridge win the varsity boat race, and whenever possible, spending some time with friends. I suppose this chapter is called Mood Swings because it has been like that for the last few months, with my injuries, my rejected paper, and a few personal relationship problems, January and February were not great. So if I'm anything, I'm an incredibly logical person, almost to a fault. So I took a step back, assessed the situation, and took the correct moves in order to achieve my goals and improve my emotional state via some introspection and personal development. By the end of March, I was feeling much better, and in April, I am reaping those rewards. I ran the marathon in a reasonably good time, passed my Viber and published a few papers, and finding a girlfriend, I'll start again on Monday. I've got a wedding and a conference to help me with that. See you in the near future, Dorito. 